Hey everyone, today I wanted to talk about the books that I've read this year that I didn't like as much as I hoped I would. First, I want to start out saying that if you've read any of these books that I show you today that I didn't like as much as I hoped I would um, and you enjoyed them, then I am obviously super happy for you that you enjoyed these. Uh, good for you. If you haven't read the books that I'm showing you today and you would like to read them, please do not let me prevent you from um, picking them up. So let's get started. The first book that I was a bit disappointed about is um, Book of Night by Holly Black. Um, this is a beautiful limited edition in Dutch that I got from the publisher as a review copy. Um, this is actually the first adult book of Holly Black. So I was very excited because I'm kind of getting out of the young adult genre and switching to more adults for historical fiction, classic literature. But I was very excited because the premise sounded so, so interesting. Um, it's hard to explain for me what the book is truly about because it was, it felt chaotic and I still can't really grasp what was going on. But this book is about Charlie and she's our protagonist. She's trying to get her life back on tracks after, after she's had a difficult past. Um, she has been uh, involved in thievery and all kinds of very bad things. Um, but one day she gets involved again in thievery and in magic stuff. Um, what I like most about this book before going in was the concept of um, shadows being able or your shadow being able to pull itself loose from yourself um, and live a completely different life. This was a kind of magic system that I've I'd never seen before, um, but the characters felt flat to me, um, they were unlikable, the story was dragging, um, pacing was off for me, it was all going super slow, um, and I didn't feel like anything interesting was happening. It feels like a young adult novel instead of an adult novel, I don't see any difference, um, I don't see any difference in her other work than in this one, so yeah, was just a little bit dis disappointed. The next book on my list is probably the worst, one of the worst books uh, that I found, um, and that is The Black Dress by Deborah, oh god, Mogach? Deborah Mogach. I love the cover, uh, this is why I picked it up, but I love the premise even more. This one is about a 60 year old woman and she has been married all her life with her husband, but her husband leaves her. And one day she is standing at a secondhand bookstore. She sees a beautiful uh, black dress. She decides then and there that she is gonna go start going to funerals of people that she has never known to find herself a new husband. I thought that was a very interesting concept and I really wanted to read this book. I was disappointed. Um, the main reason why I was disappointed was also the characters. I don't know, I couldn't relate to any of the characters. I couldn't relate to the main character especially. And the biggest problem I had was the motives of the characters. Like there was this plot twist by the end of the book and it just blew my mind but not in a good way. Like I was I was thinking what is happening and it doesn't make sense and it came out of nowhere and it was just the execution was really really not good for me personally um, but yeah this is this was another disappointment the two following books are by the same author which is V.E. Schwab um, this one is a Dutch limited edition and it is stunning. I was very excited about this one because the premise is the same premise as one of my favorite books, which is Crimson Peak. I thought it was this was gonna be a book that was gonna keep me at the edge of my seat, but it wasn't. 
I think the biggest problem for me was that this book is marketed as a young adult fantasy novel, but to me it felt like reading middle grade. I I didn't feel tension, I didn't feel scared, I didn't feel anything. It's about a girl named Olivia, she's an orphan, and she cannot speak. She also sees ghosts, like creatures that no one else can see. One day she receives a letter from her uncle inviting her to come and live with him in Gallant, which is an old mansion. And her mother has always warned her not to go to Gallant. What does Olivia do? Of course, she goes to Gallant and the story begins. It should have been marketed as a middle grade, which was my biggest problem, but yeah, so this was Gallant. And the other one by Victoria Schwab was um, The Colors of Magic. This is also a limited edition in Dutch, which I got as a review copy. I don't want to say too much about this book because I already did a reading vlog in detail about this book. So if you're interested in checking it out and why I didn't really like the book, what it's about you can you can check out my other video and i will leave the link in the description box below then there are two books that i tried to read but i didn't finish the first one is um, the dream weavers by barbara erskine erskine uh, it is quite a big book and i have read until past halfway and then i gave up I think the main problem with this book for me was that there was one storyline that I was very interested in, which was the historical fiction um, deep in the past storyline. And then the second storyline was in modern times and the woman and our protagonist in the modern times is able to travel back into the past. And she, we, we follow this story through her eyes. Um, and the problem for me was that I wasn't really interested in the woman's life in the modern times. And I was always happy that she switched back uh, to the historical time. The second book that I bought and started reading but didn't finish was The Stray Cats of Holmes, um, written by Eva, Eva Noor, I think, Eva Noor. Um, I stopped reading this novel at page 76, I just couldn't get through the book. I want to try again soon, um, but it's been a while and I don't remember anything about it, but I remember that I couldn't get through the book. 